Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Maria and today we're going to be having a look at the Wayne Goss It's the Luxury Eye Palette. This is in the Colour Story Pearl. The two previous eyeshadow palettes that Wayne Goss put out I purchased and I really enjoy the formulas and the shades that he puts out as well. I've also previously bought some of his blushes, his eyeliners and also his lipsticks. I ordered this palette from Beautylish and with the international shipping it actually came super quick. I think I only ordered it about four or five days ago. So from the USA to New Zealand it's pretty impressive fast shipping and it arrived in the post today so I thought I would do a video on it. Now also with Beautylish I ordered some other things as well but one thing I didn't order that was in the box is the Wayne Goss It's the Waterproof Mascara. So I actually didn't pay for this. Must have been popped in by mistake and it is a full size one so I'm going to be trying this out today as well. I've seen a couple of reviews on this and the couple that I have seen, they do like the mascara. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out. So let's take a look inside. So it's in the usual type of the packaging, the same as the blushes and the previous eyeshadow palettes that he has released. And inside again has a generous size mirror and the six eyeshadows and this time he hasn't put in a black eyeshadow with his two previous eyeshadow palettes he did but people were saying that you don't really need to with each palette you release so he listened to the people who were buying his palettes and the reviews and he skipped that color this time instead he's got a beautiful gray color there instead in this palette there are mattes and satins and what he describes as a celestial shimmer, which is this shade down here. Now I'm going to swatch these shadows on my arm, and I'm also, when I finish this video, I'm also going to take a photo of these swatched on my arm in natural light as well. And I'll put that picture up to my left, while I'm showing you the swatches on my arm here. So when Wayne released this palette, he said that this is inspired from a bridal look so they're really soft and pretty and feminine and as soon as I saw this palette was going to be released and I saw the color story it reminded me straight away of Charlotte Tilbury shades and also Bobbi Brown shades as well and I knew I was going to get this palette because even though they don't have a massive punch of color they are the type of shades that I wear every day and I'm going to get a lot of use out of this palette. So I'm going to swatch the top row first and then the bottom row next. So the shades from the top row left to right, the first one is described as a pink beige with a matte finish. The next one is a pearl beige with a satin finish. And the third one is a soft pink with a matte finish. And this is the bottom row starting from the left. And this one is soft brown with a matte finish. Then we have a taut brown with a matte finish. And finally is a sparkling peach with a shimmer finish. And that's the one he described as a celestial shade. And this one is recommended to put over the top of the other shadows or when applying it, to apply it with your finger. And they also recommend not to apply these shades with a wet brush. So I'm going to do a couple of different looks with this eyeshadow palette. The first one I'm going to do really soft and subtle and the next one I'll try and make the eye look so that there's a bit more depth and a little bit more smoky. I've only got one Wayne Goss brush and this is the number 16. I'm going to start off with this shade up here and sweep this all over both lids. So I don't know whether you'll be able to see this shade. It's very similar to my skin tone but it will help set down the 
primer that I've got on and just give a really lovely base for all the other shades that I use. And I think I forgot to say, but I have got eye primer on, but for the swatches that I did on my arm, I don't use any primer when I did those. So I'm going to take the Sonia G Crease Pro brush and I'm going to go into this beautiful soft pink shade here. We got a brand new day. Good love is on the way. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Have you ever been in love? Then I'm going to take the Riffin number 14 brush and I'm going to go back into the same shade, just lightly tap in there. I'm going to add some more product on the shadow that I've already put down and then bring it up a bit so you'll be able to see the shade. It is a beautiful soft colour. It's really, really pretty. Then I'm going to take a Sonia G. It's the worker brush. I'm going to go into this middle satin shade and I'm going to put that all over the lid. If you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia. Have you ever been in love? I dove in from high above and if the answer's no, well then I'd like to get to know you. And using the reference number three brush, I'm going to put some shadow on my lower lash line. I want to keep this super soft, so I'm going to go into this shade here. For my next eye look, I'll be using this color more, but I'm not going to use this color for this eye look. And taking the hourglass number 10 brush, I'm going to go back into that same shade and put some on my upper lash line and then just to complete the eye look I'm going to use my finger and go into this shimmer shade here and just pop that over the other color just to give it a little bit of sparkle so now I'm going to try out this Wayne Goss Mascara. I haven't actually read a lot on this. I do remember seeing a couple of posts on Instagram that he doesn't make any outlandish promises about this. I think he says it's it's waterproof and it gives volume and some length and doesn't transfer and is supposed to last for quite a while. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then give this mascara a try. So for those of you that haven't seen the mascara, the actual brush is quite small and I like that if you've watched some of my other videos, even though I've got a couple of mascaras and they're really good, but the brushes are quite big and <laughs> I'm a bit hopeless with mascara, I tend to get it all over the place. And I also find with a smaller wand, it's really good for getting into the outer corner and inner corner of my lashes. So here is the wand. So the main thing for me with a mascara is, one, I do like to layer it, and he says that you can layer it, but to let the first coat dry and then layer. But also it's really important for me that the mascara doesn't transfer throughout the day, and a lot of mascaras can with me because of my oily skin, and I also have very oily eyelids as well. So that's with one coat on. It gives really beautiful separation of the lashes and it has given a little bit of volume but I'm just going to, he says not to pump the mascara wand up and down. So I'm just placing it back in and taking it back out so I can put a second layer on my lashes and we'll see how this builds. So that's with two coats on each eyelash and I really like the brush on this mascara and get it nice and close to the lash line and like I was saying onto the outer and in the corner of my lashes it layers really well and for me it's enough coverage with two layers 
you could probably go in again. So the main thing for me, like I said, is that it doesn't transfer. So what I'll do when I've uploaded this video and once it goes live on YouTube, I'll pin a comment and let you know how this mascara wore. So now I'm going to do blush and lipstick and then once I've done that then I'll remove the eye makeup that I've got on and do my second look. Now I do have a Wayne Goss blush, I have two of them, but today I'm going to use the one in Coral Rose. This is really, really beautiful and I think it'll look lovely with this eye look and the other one that I'm going to do as well. So I'm going to take my Chukahoodoo, this is the F03 brush. And I am going to put a small amount of highlighter on my cheekbone. So I'm going to use the highlighter that's in this blush palette as well. And I'm just going to put it on using the, it's the Rafa number 20 fan brush. Then I'm going to take the Sonogy Smooth Buffer and I'm just going to buff that highlighter in a little bit more. Then I'm going to use a uh, Wayne Goss lipstick. I've got four of his lipsticks, but I knew when I saw this palette that when I did this video, I would use the color Daisy. Out of the four lipsticks I've got, this is my most favorite color. And as you can see, I'm gonna have to order a backup. That's how much I use it. And I really enjoy the formula of the Wayne Goss lipsticks. I think they look really beautiful on. And this color in particular is just really soft and pretty and goes with this eyeshadow palette. And I also love with his lipsticks that it's got the old fashioned click. I quite like that. I've also got one of his lip glosses and I actually haven't used this for a while, but I really like it. So I'll put this on today. And I can't remember what the color of this is, and I can't read what it says on the bottom, but I'll have a good look later, and everything that I'm putting on today and the foundation that I've got on, I will be listing in the description box below. So that's the finished look for the first eye look. I think it's really pretty. I knew it was gonna be pretty, as I was saying, with this color story, because these are my everyday, type of shadows and I really love them. So now I'm going to leave the blush and lipstick and my foundation on but I'm going to remove my eye makeup and then I'll be back and we'll do the second look. So I have some makeup wipes in the room where I video here and I went to take off all the makeup. The eyeshadow came off fairly easy but when I first started I knew the mascara just was not going to budge so I left that on and I will tackle that with a double cleanse tonight and so I've also got underneath that which shade it was this shade down here underneath but I'll be going over that shade with this darker one for the next eye look so I have put eye primer on again and I'm going to use this lighter shade here using the Wayne Goss number 16 brush and just put that over each lid like last time. And then using the Rafa number 15 brush, I'm again gonna go into this gorgeous pink shade here. I just love it. It's a really beautiful shade, even though it's really soft. It does have quite a good payoff and it's just really pretty. So next I'm going to go into this darkest shade here. I'm going to use the Rafa number 14 brush and I'm going to put that through the crease and I'm also going to put some on the outside of my lid as well on the outer corner. Cause I don't know what I've been told The weather outside is not that cold And if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia See, but I see you right next to me And if you take my hand, I'll walk 
walk with you to Georgia. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to use that same dark colour. And I'll use the refer number three brush to apply that. And then I'll put some on my upper lash line as well. And just before I put that same shade on my upper lash line, I'm going to take the Sonia G Worker. This brush is from the Lotus set. And I'm going to go into this satin shade here. And put that from the inner corner through to the centre. And then I'm going to go back again into this celestial shade. This gives a beautiful sparkle on the lid. So I'm just going to place some of that on. And now I'm going to take the Hourglass number 10 brush into this dark shade here and put that on my upper lash line. And I'm just going to smoke out the shadow that I put on my lower lash line a little bit. So I'm going to use, this is another brush from the Sonia G, the Lotus set. And this is called the Soft Definer. It's really small and super soft. And it is good for just softening out shadow around your delicate eye area. And that is the finished look. I do have a couple of Wayne Goss eyeliners, ones in black and ones in more of a really deep brown. But I don't really want to put these on with this shadow today. I just sort of wanted to show you what you can do with these shadows. I love this deeper shade here. You certainly can get a more dramatic look, although it's still really beautiful and soft and doesn't look hard at all. These shadows are blended really beautifully. They were easy to work with. I love all the colours. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And the mascara at this stage, I'm really pleased with. I love the small brush that it has. Like I said, I can get in really close to my lash line. Also, I can get on the outer and inner corners. And as I was saying, when I went to take off my previous eye look, I knew within a couple of seconds with my makeup wipe, there was no way that this was going to budge. And I'll have to use either... I'll be double cleansing like I normally do or I'll also even before I do that probably place some I've got some eye makeup remover and soak cotton pads with that and then place that over my lashes for about a good 20 to 30 seconds before it'll come off but that's a good sign it means it's not probably going to transfer but like I said once I've uploaded this video I will let you know in the comments how this mascara went and that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time bye